firstly, I mean, I invariably my painting is is about a journey. I'm, I go places to paint. I go and I seek something. Uh, I seek what is in a country, what it was, what it is now, and to a certain extent, what it might be. There's much more to it than uh, than actually meets the eye. I mean. I'm in search of an awful lot more than just a one particular painting, and I would hate that that uh, somebody would judge my productivity in the sense of looking at a painting. There's a relationship between the whole because the person who creates one creates lots, and to really understand uh, how I operate and what makes me do the things that I do, you have to look at my paintings in an overall, and you have to look at all the subject matters that are included in them so you cannot just pick a landscape and ignore a nude or ignore a skeleton. I mean I do certain paintings just for the sheer pleasure of doing them because a landscape is particularly beautiful but overall I actually do have a, a work ethic and that work, work ethic encompasses an awful lot and it's always in search for something. It's in search of a path, it's in search of the truth, it's in search of spirit in search of soul and it comes to my heart. Well, I'm, I'm curious. Firstly, that's one, one, of the, one of the things, one of my qualities, uh, whether it's a good or a bad one, I don't know, but I'm curious about, about life and I'm curious about uh, what's around the next bend and um, how it happens to be there and how it got there and will it look aesthetic and is there painting there? Uh, is there... Is there um, a format, is there a composition, is there colour and all of these things I, I, I question and so I mean it doesn't cost me at all to jump on a plane and go someplace and find out what's there. Normally I, have an, I would have an idea of what I'm looking for uh, because I would have done some research beforehand but invariably the research means nothing in the end because what, the, what is the accident is always the best. Sometimes when you go on a painting trip, the actual result doesn't materialise until afterwards. You go to achieve something and you come back with a totally different achievement because it gives you a direction to follow as regards the next painting series that, that you actually do. I went to Cuba with the object in mind of doing a painting series of nudes in a, in a natural environment and natural landscape. Finding the place to, to, to make the work is probably takes as long sometimes as it does to actually do the work and that's incredible but I mean I've often spent hours looking for the spot to do a particular painting. To me, painting is very much an organic uh, affair, and I would have an idea of what I of what I what I would want to have, what I would want to achieve. But it's the first five ten minutes will actually dictate how the painting materialises and how it develops. And sometimes it can just go so horribly wrong, and other times it can just it just flows, and the the composition comes together. The, the colour combinations come together, the structure comes together, the, the, you know, whether it includes uh, figures or, or not, it, it'll just fall into place. One of the special areas in Havana is, is an art market which is uh, close by the waterfront. Estoy tan enamorado de la negra domasa. 
in my case, I set up my easel and started painting. I mean, I immediately became a, an attraction because it's not the norm. And especially since I happen to be a foreigner, it became uh, more unusual as far as they were concerned. So you get someone, somebody come along and give you a serenade on a, on a, on a flute or sing a song for you and uh, start a, par a party basically on, on, a, on a postage stamp. It really is the, the most accessible and available market for the Cuban artist to, to sell his work. And there's a huge variety of works in it, from drawings, paintings, to, you know, and of all kind of contents, from the, what would be things like cocks and uh, the countryside situation, pots of flowers, uh, reproductions of Che Guevara, to explicit sex, sexual scenes, just many and varied. And a lot of, of their indigenous culture comes out in, in these paintings. The art market is a total visual blast. I mean, it's a blaze of colour uh, interspread with uh, crafts. And it has a certain life of its own. It has a joyousness of its own. The casualness of Cuban life is very evident there. In, in this painting, I attempted to catch the actual colour and vibrancy of the art market of Havana. It had a swirl, a, a sense of movement between the angular display of the paintings and the Rococo building behind, uh, which was a monastery. It, they flowed together very, very well. I, mean, it was, I was quite happy with the, the lushness of the trees that, that really sort of framed the scene and with those dots of colours and movement of people and the umbrellas, the parapluie jutting up out of the crowds. And the painting worked. I am an Irish painter, yeah. okay? So I come to Cuba to paint. The landscape, this is one of my paintings of Baracoa. My flurry with the market doing the painting introduced me to, as, as a painter introduced me, to the active Cuban art world in Havana. So I got to know a number of the artists. Two in particular, one a young lady who specialised in, in erotic art. It was a self-interpretation of eroticism. She, she viewed it from all angles and all perspectives in every sense. This one is very graphic. 